Ladies and gentlemen, what is up guys? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a new cool game to show you guys. This is purely my intuition right now. This is not a sponsored video by any means. This is exciting. This includes a lot of things that I like into one game. And that is weapons, bombs, missiles, aircraft, uh, RTS, and tower defense into one game and the graphics have a kind of warm spark spark geez spot in my heart I, I i love this style of graphics not too realistic and not too unrealistic kind of has, has a nice balance between uh or just the art styles balanced very nicely done now if you're wondering what this game is i kind of shortly explained it you have your base or your hub as it says and as you play more games and you get experience or munitions and I believe experience, you'll be able to increase your base's defensive ability. And by upgrading, you can use sniper towers, pillboxes, bunkers that send out troops um, at regular intervals while the enemy is attacking you. And the enemy that is attacking you is a real player. Now it hasn't happened to me yet, but if let's say I'm in the menu looking at things, I will get a notification that someone has initiated an attack on my base. And what will happen is that I can jump in there and play it like a tower defense. Now, if I wanna go on the offensive and attack somebody's base, it's kinda like an RTS. Oh, and by the way, this is a free to play game. Now, I only have about 30 minutes on this game, so I haven't dove down into the economy of the game. So I have no opinion on that yet, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyways, right now I'm gonna show you how the base building works. So as you can see, I have 18,000 munitions and munitions is your currency in the game. So my my area is kind of lackluster, if you will. I mean, I have a pill or I have a, excuse me, it's a bunker. I have a barracks or got a tent. My terminologies are way off. A sniper thing? Sniper towers, yeah, I was right about that one. So what the tent does, it should tell you, actually no, it will be build inventory. And the tent will, oh, I won't even tell me. It just told me before. Here it is. Okay, tent spawns units at regular intervals, supports up to three simultaneous waves. If cover is available, will populate with one tent spawn at start of battle. So this is kind of how you deploy your own troops when you're being invaded. Sniper tower is a sniper that can shoot through multiple people if they have low health, mortars, bunkers. Okay, so we have 10,000. Let's add, hmm. Provides cover for up for two of your units. No, I'm not gonna get into that yet. That might be for next video. If you guys like what you see today, you wanna see more, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's just do a mortar. More available at level six. Am I all capped out? Oh, okay. Bottom right, you'll see max. But anyways, what would happen is that I would buy this and place it on my, um, I guess line to my FOB or my HQ, if you will. Another thing that I like about this game is the artwork or just the how the units look kind of have a World War II, Korea, Vietnam look to them. So as you can see, Grunt tier one, looks like a semi-automatic rifle, maybe in a submachine gun. <laughs> He's got a freaking thumper. Looks like a Bren or the, the British one or the Japanese type 100. We got a shotgun, flamethrower, Looks like an assault rifle, sniper, machine gun, RPG, riot gear, and if you carried around a gun like that all day, you, you'd have huge muscles too. So this brings me to another, or to the next topic, is that there's cards and elite units that you can bring into the battle. Now, I still only have about 40 minutes in the game, so I'm still learning. I just wanted to make this video today to showcase um, this game and to show you that it's free to play, etc. But at the end of a battle, the game will reward you cards, as you can see here. So uh, it's just RNG and you can only use them once. Maybe you can use them twice if you have more and more, but after you use one, they disappear, which I really, really enjoy. So one of our cards is influenza, decreases enemy health by 10, just looks like mustard gas or gas. We have a missile, we have two missiles. Precision missile strike, call in coordinates and watch the fireworks, rally flag, uh, can just the units rally around and tear gas clouds your enemy vision and stop them in their tracks and focus fire army will fire and they'll ignore everything else so like a crucial unit you need to take out quick because he's very very strong so that's kind of the gist of this game what we're going to do right now 
is we're going to complete these two objectives. Assign a unit perk to a to a unit in the barracks. Okay, so I'm going to go to barracks and edit perks. Okay, so we can assign them a damage perk. So as you can see with this perk, we do 41 damage. I guess maybe per second or per time they fire. The health will increase theirs to 88. I'm going to do damage. Okay, there we go. Good, and now fortify your base. Upgrade two structures in the build mode. So let's go to build mode. And let's do this bunker right here. Upgrade. So now we'll have a 11.62 fire rate. What does it have right now? Okay, that's what it has right now. Okay, what did it... Okay, maybe it upgraded the i don't understand what, what we just upgraded but that just happened i thought it would increase the health or just the overall damage it output it and then we'll let, let's do the bunk or the tent here yeah i don't know what those are doing maybe to decrease our cool time or cool down time to spawn in new troops Okay, that should be the next objective completed. Gives me 5,000 more ammunition. Thank you. I'll take that. Go on the offensive and take down the enemy. You got it. Okay, so our next objective. This is gets kind of like the tutorial. Go to war and attack three opponents. Roger that. So how we get into the battles, we press war and player versus player. Okay, so the buy-in. Ooh, this guy looks kind of difficult. I'm going to try this buy-in. The free ones don't earn you that much munitions and experience. The buy-in ones do. As you can see, the difficulty has one skull. Okay. And then now at level four, we're only level three right now. We'll be able to unlock more cards for the battle. But right now we're going to use a missile. And then we have the troops grunt, assault, and grenadier or grenade launcher. Okay, move out. Here we go. Flea versus firing. Oh God. Okay. Well, I think I know who's going to win right now. And this is cross-platform. I believe this is on the, this is on the PS4, uh, PS um, like handhelds, and then maybe mobiles as well. This has been out on Steam since the 20th. Okay. So here is our supply truck. We'll pick these up, and they'll go here. So we have two missile strikes, a rally point, and decoy. We'll start bringing up some grunts and maybe some machine guns, and spawn in one gren or grenade launcher guy. And we're going to just get some more here. And let's just see their defenses. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going to rally them real quick. This is, this kind of brings them together, gets them in one place. The downside is that uh, sometimes they'll, they'll have mortars and they'll really, you know, com uh, compromise that rally point. They've got TV heads. Push it up. There goes, a, there goes a grenade. And as you can see, oh, there goes your head. Oh my God, that's brutal. Um, we'll earn munitions. Actually, these guys are be tough. Missiles, just kidding. There goes my grenade. There goes a missile. Ah, it worked out. So we'll earn munitions, and that munition, and those munitions will give us more points to spawn in more troops from our supply truck. And we got a decoy. What decoy does is it makes the enemy troops focus right on that. So our troops aren't targeted for a little bit. And we're picking up more munitions. This guy's going to eradicate my guys. Come on. Heavy spawning right there. Okay, so their first line of defense is gone, and that is going to be it. We'll just call a missile right on their HQ. And the more munitions you keep at the end of a battle, the better. So maybe spawning these guys wasn't the best idea because these guys could hold it down right there. I wanted that last munitions crate. That was a pretty easy task right there. Yeah, we got three stars. Level five. Okay, and here are the cards I was talking about. So we got 1,000 plus in currency. Uh, we got three dynamite cards in attack type formation. You got some stumps and junk in your base. Why not use dynamite to remove them and clear some room for defenses? Ah, so that takes care of like trees and shrubbery. Got some more cash. 
Ooh, 5,000. Guess that was a small mission. We had to destroy two sniper towers. Oh, wow. God, the, these free-to-play games are so nice when you first start out. You're like, wow, metal's everywhere. I'm running everything. Ooh. This walking pharmacy has everything necessary to continuously heal nearby units. And we unlocked another, did we? Okay, yeah, we did. It says it right there. I'm just checking my level here. I thought it was level four, but we're level three. We are level four. I just don't think it's updated yet. And so now we can bring two cards in. And maybe we'll be able to upgrade our base as well. And I like this kind of propaganda artwork they have right here. <laughs> Ooh, here it is. This is what I was talking about. How convenient. Okay, close. We have an incoming attack. We can prepare two minutes. Let's see what we can do to the base. Maybe get a another. Oh, wait, we got to build new. Okay, mortars. Can we do this one yet? Oh, what? Level six. Okay, you only get a certain amount. We'll go ahead and put a um, sandbag here, though. Okay, place. Okay, we're definitely gonna wanna unlock this guy. I don't think I can use him in this base defense, however. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, here we go. So we are gonna be versing, no idea who this is. 32 enemies though. So we have, we have landmines, okay. It kind of looks like they're pushing up. Okay, we'll put one right there. Push one over here. One right there. Oh, he's gonna walk on it. Oh, that was nice. Walk on that one, guys. Oh, he's so close to that one. Okay, so these troops have spawned out of our tent, but these guys can just keep pushing them. Incoming missile strike. A little late. Oh, wow, we got him though. That was a nice, yeah, monster kill right there. And so we have 114. And so right now we really can't control anything. It's just a tower defense. Ooh, we got a bombing run. Yes, please. Oh, look at the B-52. Not bad. Decoy. Ouch. Come on, guys, hurry up. Take him down. Ooh, they've got like a general. Okay, we need to kill seven more enemies. I think we will be able to do that. Hold the line. Hold the line! Oh my gosh, I'm getting eradicated. This guy's got a, this guy's got like a sniper pistol. <gasps> we did it. Wave two defeat it. Enemies, enemies will be back. Make sure your base is prepared. Maybe these are just AIs for the tutorial. Hopefully not. <sighs> look, look, look at tanks, tanks. This means war. Don't delay, retaliate. Wow, man. This, like, this game's got some thought to it. If you guys are enjoying this, let me know again in the comments below. Okay, so we defeated that. Let's get ready. We're gonna do one more assault to level up here. And we're gonna try a harder difficulty. We went with one Ooh, okay. I don't know if we should. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now we're gonna trade our assault with our medic here. And then we're gonna put some more cards on. We got a missile card. And influenza. Okay, moving out. Okay, flea versus ice creams. Okay, so we got, ooh, we just got an RNG firebomb. That's convenient. These guys really aren't that expensive compared to what I thought they would be at. Okay. Oh, so as they travel, they'll naturally heal people. Okay. Rally up for a little bit just to get all, all our units together. Okay, we are capped out right now. Now this is a this is a two skull attack. Oh man, they, he's got barbed wire.
We're needing another medic. Another medic. Get him out there. Go, guy. Go. Okay, we got some more munitions. We're going to hold the building right now because we're pretty much capped out. Now, I can see these games going on a while. Someone's got a really good defense, just spewing out um, enemies. You can get a lot of munitions, and they'll keep spewing them out because it doesn't cost them anything. I'd rather get rid of these toxic gases here. Oh, shit. This wasn't too hard. Preemptive missile. Boom! Monster kill! No, it didn't give it to me like that. Okay, let's... Well, I should have brought the focus fire. The good thing is our medics are keeping everyone decently alive that they are around. Look at that barbed wire to slow my troops down. It actually does what it's supposed to do. I shouldn't have called that medic in. Damn it. But what we can call in right now is this into this. So we got the B-52 and a missile coming. Oh, that wasn't bad. Two star or two, um, two skull attack right there. So we got 2000 munitions. Okay, I thought that was like a unique thing. It's just a fire bomb. I guess the different color cards mean like rarity or how crucial they are to your success. So we got a new card. This is boost, boost your progress munitions or even the number of crates you get at the end of a battle so i guess you call this in before you go into the battle and it increases your munitions and cards Jeez, okay we'll take that so guys hope you have enjoyed this video today i'm going to be playing a lot in my free time to advance my account so i can show you more interesting aspects of this game such as tank gameplay aircraft gameplay and just what the overall game has to offer and then to dissect it and make sure it's not whoever buys the best thing you know will, will romfel stomp you so someone can't just pay to win that, that's my one concern of this game. Hopefully it's just paid to advance or something along those lines. But we shall see in the very near future. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Guys, have a great day. Until next time, peace out.